Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just bless your name today. I lift up your name, O oh God. I praise you. Worship and adore your name today, God, because you are good. You are good. You are great, O oh God, and greatly to be praised. So I magnify your name. I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for life. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and clothing us in our right minds. Lord, I thank you for your goodness towards each of us today. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. Your name, O oh God, is worthy, worthy to be lifted up, worthy to be adored, my God. I praise you now, Lord. I praise your holy name. Lord, I thank you for your people today. Every single one of them, oh God, that has gathered here around this devotion, oh God. I thank you for their lives. I thank you, God, for this opportunity that you have given us once again to assemble in your presence, oh God. Just to lift up your name and to hear a word from you today, Lord. I pray that you would touch each life. Lord, you would touch each person, Lord, you know them, you know everything about each of them, Lord, see them where they are now, see them, oh God, in whatever state that they're in, oh God, and meet them, Father, meet them where they are, some are happy, some are sad, some are in between some are a bit indifferent some don't even know what's going on in their lives right now but lord i ask you to strengthen even at the onset oh god of this devotion today i pray mighty god that you would bring change and transformation to lives oh god that have been crying out to you for change, for something different to happen in their lives. Some are tired, oh God, of going around the same mountains all the time. They cry, they reach out, but yet, oh God, it seems as if you're not there. So today, God, I ask you to give them an encounter, oh God, with your holy presence. Let your presence know, oh God, fill their lives, cause them to experience your peace even in the midst of turmoil, mighty God. Jesus, hallelujah, glory be to your name, O God. Thank you, Lord. I bless your holy name. Lord, take charge of the airwaves. And cause your word, O oh God, to go forth with power, with anointing, and with clarity, O oh God. It would reach the hearts of your people. Yes, Lord. The deep places, O oh God, that only you can reach. So, Lord, I pray now that you would do for us today more than we can ask or even think, O oh God. Let it be a different kind of day. Help us, Father. Help us, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Good morning, friends. Good morning. This is Diane. And I'm coming to you today with another word of encouragement. And I must say, in times like these, friends, you know, the sun could be shining 
elsewhere. But when you are affected by bad news, even if the sun is shining, it, you just perceive it in a totally different way. And today, you know, my heart is broken. My heart is broken because of some events that took place in this BVI where I live. You know, it's, it's just so troubling. It's, it's heartbreaking. And I know, friends, most of you are from all over the world. I know. I know that. I know that you are from different places and the sun may very much be shining where you are right now. Well, it's trying to come up in the BVI. I say try to because it's rainy, it's overcast. And I would say for good reason, for good reason. It's as if the atmosphere is responding to the wickedness that has taken place in this land. And my spirit is saddened, 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 totally saddened and heartbroken. I know that we don't live in a perfect world. But today, I just want to declare to somebody that Jesus is the answer. Even to myself, that Jesus is the answer. Yes, friends, he's the answer for the world today, a world torn apart by sin. It's a world where the heart of man is desperately wicked. It's a world ruled by secrets and lies. It gets hard and difficult at times. Some days we are up, we have these mountaintop experiences, friends, while other days are valley days valley days the BVI is now seeing some valley days even in the midst of what looks like progress what looks like we're going forward in this nation we're now in some valley days now does one incident or two incidents create valley days for the entire nation yes because it speaks to the wickedness that dwells in the nation. Yes, every nation has problems. But this is getting out of hand. Friends, I got some terrible news last night. There is a report and it's all over the internet. All right? So if you go to any of the news sites in the BVI, you will see breaking news breaking news where a vicious vicious attack was done on a woman last night the reports are that a woman was found in the middle of the road apparently thrown from a vehicle riddled with bullets rushed to hospital and later died now one would say well you know, that happens everywhere. I mean, sin and destruction is everywhere. So, you know, what's so urgent or important about this? I'm saying, friends, that when you live on a small island and you get this type of news, it is heartbreaking. It is sad. It is a rough place to be. And there are people who have gone through these situations and then are expected, like those who are left behind, they're expected to just scrape up their lives and move on because such is life. Well, today, friends, my appeal or my encouragement is a little different in that from time to time, I would come on here and we would, you know, just talk about the goodness of God. And I would talk about the goodness of God. But just allow me for a moment just to make an appeal, especially to persons who have not yet 
made a solid commitment to Christ because that's where I'm going this morning. Some may say, well, I'm saved already, so I don't need to hear this. And that's okay, I understand. But just in case you're here this morning and you're listening and you're under the sound of my voice and you have not yet made a solid commitment to Christ, now is the time. Jesus is the answer. Even if you are a Christian, even if you are a Christian, you have been walking with the Lord. But for some reason, you know, you're still struggling in areas that are considered, you know, basic stuff. You know, because sometimes we have been walking for a very long time, but some still do struggle with the basics. Like as it relates to love, loving one another. You know, Jesus redefined murder. He redefined murder. I would say he redefined murder because there was a time when murder was and still is defined as, you know, when somebody pretty much ends the life of another, either they use some sort of tool or some mechanism and that was clear but Jesus says even if you are angry with your brother that can constitute murder because when anger takes a hold of somebody and they rise up against their brother the things that they say no you don't have to take some sort of weapon and commit such murder but the things that we say and we do even to our own brothers and sisters we have to watch that so I'm saying even as Christians we are not exempted from examining ourselves especially at this time because we know for sure that Jesus is coming soon he is the answer for the world he's the answer to all of our problems all of the sickness all of the death all of those things that have us in a state at times it's almost like some feel imprisoned by what's going on in the world because some feel so helpless and yes the world will continue to go in a downward spiral, yes, because the Bible did declare that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And they're not coming, friends. They are already here. Perilous times are already here. Even if you're not affected by certain things, you know, at a particular time, rest assured, you will be at some point because we live in a world that continues to reject Christ generally speaking yes there are many Christians you know going through fighting their way holding on standing firm but this world is not our home Christ himself declared that his kingdom was not of this world. And if we are his followers, we have to remember that. Now to those who have not yet made a solid commitment, and I use the word solid because what I'm seeing happening nowadays, it's there are a lot of people who are religious very religious they go to church regularly as a matter of fact some go more regularly than the christians okay you could always look around and see these people sometimes you have been seeing them in church for so long you forget that they are not saved really because they have not said yes to christ everybody has issues and problems and all of that but you have some who come all the time. And yes, it is the duty of those who are followers of Christ to get the message out 
Yes, we plant the seed and then the spirit, you know, does the watering. But I'm here to make an appeal to somebody today to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near because no one knows the day nor the hour. When I think about what happened to this woman here in the BVI last night, I'm pretty sure she had dreams, goals, aspirations, plans for herself and her family. But look what happened. In a moment, her life was snuffed out by criminal minds, criminal elements roaming about our neighborhoods, roaming about the society, taking life as if they gave it. I'm just saying, friends, Jesus is the answer. He is the answer. When things get rough, when they become out of control, we can have joy and peace. Yes, things are going to cause us to become sad, to be upset. You know, my, my mood is a little bit different today because this is just terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. And I'm saying, Jesus is the answer. Because even if you're not going through now, like I said, there will be a time when you will need to call upon his name. All right? Jesus is the answer. Let me read something here for you. What Christ himself declared while he was on earth. And just a word to us today of how we should perceive all that happens around us. All right, he says, my kingdom is not of this world. It is indestructible and eternal. When you see shocking evil and mismanagement all around you, do not despair. As I was being arrested, I told my disciples that I could call on my father and he would send more than 12 legions of angels to rescue me. However, this was not the plan we had chosen. It was necessary for me to be crucified, to save everyone who calls on my name. Remember that you are a part of my kingdom of everlasting life and light. The darker your planet becomes, the more you need to cling to the hope you have in me. Despite the way things look, I am in control. And I'm accomplishing my purposes in ways you cannot understand. Though this world is deeply fallen, it's possible to live in it with joy and peace in your heart. As I told my disciples, so I say to you now, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world because you belong to my kingdom. In me, you may have peace. Glory be to God. Friends, Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews, but no, is my kingdom not from hence. That's John 18, 36. In Matthew 26, 53, he says, Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? Yes, friends, he could have, but you see, that was not the plan. The plan was to go all the way, all the way 
so that we could have life and life more abundantly. So I'm saying even in the midst of all of the sadness and the turmoil and the wickedness that goes on around us, our hope is in God. All right, Acts 2, 21 says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Sounds basic, but it's true. And that's what we should do. Those who are not saved, those who have not yet made that solid commitment, those who have become steeped in religion, but does not have a genuine relationship with Christ. That's what I'm talking about. Jesus is the answer. All right? It's time to take that relationship a little deeper, a little further. Even those who are saved, yes, we can too go deeper in God. So that he can use our lives. Because you see, time is running out. Time is becoming shorter and shorter. We are getting older and older. Alright? So we must be about our father's business. Those who are saved, be about it now. Because the world is dying. Alright? It would not be... A good day if on that last day persons find themselves outside of God's covering outside of his umbrella he's saying come and come now do it now now is the time now is the acceptable time Those who are not saved, come now. Those who are saved, draw closer. Because the days are evil. Times are perilous. But you see, even in the midst of all of that, Jesus is saying, you can have my peace. John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken unto you that in me, you might have peace. In the world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So Jesus is the answer. All right. I'm just going to keep this really short today. Well, within the time, and I'm going to pray right now and just ask the Lord to help us, help us to draw closer because We need that. We need that. We need that closer walk with Christ. We need him now more than ever. Let's pray. Father, I bless your holy name today. Lord, I thank you for your word. Thank you, God, for such a timely word to our lives reminding us oh god that you are the answer in the midst of turmoil in the midst of tribulations in the midst of going through mighty god you are there when everything else crumbles around us oh god you are there when everything falls through you are there so help us father to make a decision, a new commitment, O God, those who have been walking with you, to renew our commitment to you, O God. On this 27th day of May, 2019, Lord, fresh fire, fresh, let a fresh wind blow across our lives, O God. Wind that will blow us into destiny, that would blow us into purpose, where we would not sit around anymore, O God, but to go 
and tell the world about you because the time is short. Lord, I pray for those who have not yet said yes to you. I pray, God, that your spirit would continue to draw them. Yes, Lord. Let your Holy Spirit draw them even now. Speak to their hearts, O oh God. Cause them, Father, to realize that you are the answer. It doesn't matter what the world is offering right now. You, O oh God, are the answer. Lord, help them to see that they need a savior before it's too late. Some are saying, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm good. But Lord, a life without you is simply wasting away. It doesn't matter what in this world is holding them from accepting you as Lord and Savior. It will vanish away, whatever it is. But you, O oh God, are from everlasting to everlasting. You give eternal life. This life is temporary. This world is not our home. We're just sojourners here. We're just pilgrims passing through. So help us, O oh God, not to become so attached to this environment because of its pleasures and amongst all of the wickedness. There's a little pleasure here and there, so we get comfortable. Lord, help us to move beyond comfort and see, O oh God, what you're doing in our lives and what you're calling us to do. So Lord, help us. Help each of us, O oh God, to realize that you have placed purpose in our lives. Lord, help us today. We need you now, God, more than ever. Lord, strengthen those who are mourning at this time. Strengthen those who are weak. Strengthen those, O oh God, who are sick. Lord, let your spirit now uplift those who are down. My God, let your peace now, O oh God, overshadow the lives of your people. Let your peace, that peace, O oh God, that passeth all understanding. Lord, let it flow now. Let your peace flow even now. Lord, I just say a special prayer for the family of this woman, O oh God. My God, I pray, God, that you would strengthen them. They need your strength right now, O oh God, to even process what has taken place, mighty God. Help your people, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Father. Lord, let your love surround us. Lord, I speak life even to those who think, oh God, that whatever they're facing is trying to kill them, Lord. I speak life. I speak wholeness. I speak clarity of mind. Those who feel as if they're going out of their mind, even now, Lord, I speak peace. Your peace. Your peace, God. Your peace. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Do for us, O oh God, more than we can ask or think. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I bless your holy name. 
I bless your holy name, O oh God. You are sovereign. And you know exactly what you're doing, O oh God. Lord, help us not to question your sovereignty. But help us, O oh God, to get through those days that has us, O oh God, in a state Bless your people who are gathered here this morning, each and every one of them. Cover them, O oh God, under your blood. Cover them under your wings. Cover, cover, God. Guard, protect, mighty God, from the wiles of the devil. He came to kill, steal, and destroy. But you, O oh God, came to give life and life more abundantly. And we speak life, life, your life, O oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. We bless your holy name today. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. My God. Friends, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding because sometimes it's so hard for us to figure out things and the Lord wants us to rely on him on his goodness on his grace his mercy he has all the answers that we seek there are some sometimes we ask the Lord for questions ask him we ask him questions you know and the answers we're not prepared for so let us let him be God let us allow him to be God, God of our lives. He knows how to steer our ship once we turn over, you know, everything to him. All right? Be blessed of the Lord today. Be blessed of the Lord today. Walk in love. Walk in peace. Walk in joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. All right? Pray for us. Pray for the BVI. Pray for us, friends. Pray. Pray for us because we need God in this place. We need God. We need Him now more than ever. We need Him. All right? No. Until we meet again, friends, in this fashion. Please take care.